I'm Buster the Fox, and welcome to another episode of Buster's Minecraft. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah. So when we left off, I had just built this amazing fish AFK farm. Uh, you may notice things are a bit different because I actually got killed by a skeleton while I was in here. Uh, yeah, but luckily underneath this thing is a hopper, so most of my items got saved, and uh, I just realized this door is on backwards. There we go. So yeah, I was doing this AFKing, and I changed the design so that less stuff would be able to kill me. Less as in, hopefully, nothing. But yeah, let's take a look at the loot, because, you know, that's probably what you're hoping to see. So here's all this stuff. Yeah, we kind of left off the last episode with that. We have some good stuff in here. We have lots of loot in here. We have lots of loot in here. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, there are no mending books, but there's lots of really good books here. And a ton, like a ton of fishing rods that got mending. And really, in fact, I only have one fishing rod left in here. And it's... it's the mending one. <laughs> it's got lure 3, luck of the sea 3, unbreaking 3, and mending. I don't know if there's anything else I can possibly put on that. And since fishing um, gives XP, this thing just keeps on healing itself. So this whole system with the dropper is completely unnecessary, which is really cool. Um, it's still going to make sound and everything, but what are you going to do? So anyway, I have something special saved here. I have a bow with mending and power four and I'm breaking three and I have a bow with just infinity here and a bow with power four and flame so this alone will get me power f power five because I'll combine it with this flame infinity and mending and I'm breaking and then I also have this which has punch two on it I'm not too fussed about punch two um, I did a lot of uh, grinding and fighting at the blaze spawner that I built last episode to get up to level 35, so now we're just going to uh, enchant some bows, so let's see. Oh, oh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to build a new anvil. Be right back. Okay, so as I was saying, we'll go ahead and combine these, so look at that. Power 5, Unbreaking 3, Mending, Infinity, Flame. Boom. So let's see how much it costs to put Punch on here. 18 can't afford it. I don't really care. Um, all that's going to do is give me punch, and I don't really care. So instead, let's name this bow, and uh, I'm going to name it Uchi no Yumi, which is Japanese for Universe Bow. So it's like the most nerdiest thing I could have named it. So yeah, it's exactly the same as our old bow, except our old bow did not have mending on it. So yeah, this thing will just heal itself as it goes, um, which is just so cool. And it also has a name, like all of our other tools now. <laughs> it has such a silly name, like, you know, whatever. So yeah, now I'm probably going to go to the uh, Blaze Spawner and heal this thing up by killing them with it. <laughs> it's going to be really awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. But I have some other really awesome plans for this episode. This is going to be dedicated to uh, a bit of building, and I keep on talking about cleaning up this area. It's such a... just farms everywhere, like I keep on saying. So yeah, I'm going to do something with that. I'll leave you guys to think about what that is. Of course, it's only going to be a few seconds, because I'm going to do all the blaze grinding off camera. Anyway, be right back. So I know I said I was going to do this off camera, but I just want to show you guys, look. Look at my bow. I've killed like two blazes. Seriously. Watch this. It's gonna be healed. It's gonna be healed. Watch, watch. Look at this. Look at this. There. It's done. Yeah, it's healed. It's fast. And this has no effect on on the an anvil cost. It's, uh, it's so good. Mending. It's overpowered. Alright, I'm back from fighting the blaze and I got a few levels. I spent some of them because I decided to put Punch 2 on this bow after all. Some people don't like putting Punch on their bows, but I figure it's a ranged weapon, right? So if you're trying to shoot something from far away, or if something is coming up to you, you want to uh, knock them away so that they won't be able to get you, right? So yeah, I don't know, I think it's good. Um, also, off-camera, I uh, 
did a little bit of I want to no this this there we go <laughs> uh, I explored the rest of this map unfortunately no special biomes or anything I didn't find anything special so yeah nothing special there this is another thing I did off camera um, storage for my fish farm here I as you can see I emptied all of my loot into here um, these are just extra storage but I have all of my fishing rods and all of my bows and my books all the trash and then all the fish so I've got it nice and organized now and uh, name tags saddles um, I didn't make it look very pretty <laughs> so I'm going to uh, fix that up eventually as you can see there's grass there so if I were to take one of those out it would be the uh, other side of the mountain so I need to maybe do some terraforming or some landscaping I don't know whichever the word is um, but yeah I'll fix that up uh, sometime during this episode because this is sort of like a spring cleaning episode um, so yeah that's that I need to go over here and grab oh, what's this what's this 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 looks different torch here no anything torch Maybe it means redstone torch. I happen to have one of those. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Aha. Well, look at this. Aha, aha. Yes, I set this up. This is a little system I made. Uh, this is a redstone torch key. <laughs> um, I could dig into here. Here we go. Yeah, this is just a redstone torch key. You may be wondering why I decided to build this, and this is the back of the fish farm, obviously. But, uh... Yeah, that's my next project here. I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to dig out a big area, because I'm going to be making a second floor to my base. Alright guys, there it is. Our new room is all dug out. Of course, you can see a few clear problems here. Let's go over those. First of all, this um, <laughs> this is obviously a problem. I'm going to have to cover this up. Uh, it's the same sort of deal that I have with that new fishing farm storage system. I'm going to have to do some terraforming to cover up the wall design that I'm going to have in here. Obviously, it's not going to stay just a bunch of stone and cobble. That is that is not how I roll. <laughs> um, that's not how I like to roll. I mean, you know, sometimes I just build stuff out of stone, but that's temporary. That's going to get moved, hopefully, this episode, too. I have a lot of plans. I still ended up with some exposed redstone, but I think what I'm going to do is, in the design, I'm going to use some upside down slayers, slayers, stairs like that um, to hide that redstone right there and I think that will look nice. Oh, uh oh, I, uh oh, I just broke some redstone. Uh, I'll, re I'll replace that in a sec. But anyway, um, also the uh, little stone, that's from the little glass thing in the center of the room upstairs. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do about that. Obviously it's off center because this room isn't centered with the one up there. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'll find something to do with it, obviously. I'll probably move the glowstone up a block or something. I don't know. I'll have to uh, take a think on that. So, I don't know. Um, I don't have a wall pattern yet. I'm not sure what I want to do. I think I want to make a brighter room than I did upstairs. That's another problem, by the way. Uh, this is my only way out of here so far. <laughs> I want to make like a slime block elevator. I kind of wanted to do it there, but I'm not sure if I would be able to... Well, I'm sure I would be able to hook it up to the redstone here, so, you know, to make it so that this opened. Um, I don't know. I'd have to mess around with it a lot. I don't have much of a way out, so that's a problem. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I talked about that, talked about that, that, and that. Oh, and of course, the uh, I added a hay bale here because in 1.9, these actually reduce the amount of fall damage you take, which is pretty cool. Um, I have Feather Falling 4 on my boots either way, but uh, when you fall down here, you actually take like a half heart of damage. So I decided to put this here just for safety, I guess. Um, but of course, if I make a slime block elevator, this will be replaced with a slime block because those also completely get rid of fall damage. And then I would have to use it to... Uh, bounce my way back up. So yeah, this is, um, like I said, this is 20 across. I believe I made this 20 by 20. So that's how big this is. And I'm actually going to uh, make a cut now because I'm going to figure out what kind of blocks I want to use to design this room. And I'll be right back with you.
And we're back, and you know, I just decided I wanted to do this off camera because, nah, nah, this is a creative world. Um, this is the design, the design I think I'm going to go for. I really like the uh, brightness of the quartz and just the color that the clay brings. I know this is kind of a very expensive thing. I'm using a uh, light blue, blue, and purple stained clay, all three of which are not naturally occurring, so I'll have to go to the Mesa biome and dig up a bunch of hardened clay and then use a bunch of lapis to dye this stuff. <laughs> but, uh, and then of course the quartz, um, that's gonna take a while to get all this, but I'm in a single player world, I have another all to myself, and I have a fortune 3 pickaxe, so I'm just gonna go mining for that Oh, and this up here, this is smooth, stan uh, smooth sandstone. I wish I could use regular sandstone, but the bottom texture is different and kind of ugly. So smooth, or, well, chiseled works too, but smooth is easier to make. So yeah, this is what I'm going with. I'm not 100% sure on the ceiling, because it seems kind of simple, but then again, most ceilings, like if you think about in real life, most ceilings aren't super ornate or anything. Um, even though I'm putting it with these uh, fancy quartz blocks, but I think the roof being simple is fine on this one because I have a lot of detail in the wall and the floor. Oh, and under these, uh, these are spruce leaves, by the way. Under here I have some sea lanterns for uh, some little bit of hidden lighting. I was considering putting glass here, but I don't think it looks very good, especially since I'm still in the uh, default texture pack, so it looks all bright and lots of little stuff on it, you know. It's, it seems like a really busy texture, you know, especially compared to uh, Faithful, which I wish I had. <laughs> I still haven't updated. Oh, one thing about this, because of the little floor design I did, um, in order for it to um, work this way so that it's, you know, flush, it, I don't know what to say, the pattern works well, it fits, you know, whatever. Um, I'm going to have to expand the room by one block, which is okay by me. Uh, I did test it here, and it should work just fine going here. So yeah, this is the design I'm going to go for. So I'm going to do a bunch of mining, and I'll meet you in a few hours, I suppose, after I've done that.
my gosh, everybody, it's done! This is so great, I don't think I've ever been quite so satisfied with a project. Not in a long time, anyway. Um, so I went ahead and updated my texture pack finally, and I also installed a little uh, texture that lowered my shield so it doesn't take up so much of the screen, which is really great. Makes this room look even nicer, I think. So yeah, this is it. <laughs> um, you may be able to see this little lighting glitch right here. Yeah, that's uh, that's where it was out to outside, and yeah. I'll terraform that eventually later, though, because right now, um, I'm going to let you guys know... Oh, first of all, slime block. These are all furnaces. Um, they have to be immov immovable blocks, because otherwise the slime block will move stuff, and it's no good. So, yeah, I made a slime block launcher. Hee <laughs> hee! Also, I, uh, I replaced this with a uh, stone brick slab just so I could make sure I remember where everything is. But the cool thing is I can use this... Oops, I, I failed. I failed. Let's try that again. Nope. Oh, what's going on here? Come on. There we go. Alright, <laughs> I can just uh, navigate myself out of there. This is what I did here. Um, meh, put some glass and I moved it up. I think it looks acceptable. Um, let me guy. Let bleh. you guys should let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna go sleep real quick. But yeah, downstairs in that new room, I'm going to uh, make a little farming area. And um, to do that, I want to get rid of some of the stuff that's out here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time to record right now, and I I need to get this video out. But mainly, this chicken farm, first of all, cobblestone, ew, no. Uh, so I'm going to turn that off, and that's going to go ahead and put it in egg mode, so to speak. And all of these guys will just die in here. Um, and I'm going to move this down there. And um, the only other thing I have plans to move is this sugarcane farm, because I actually want to build something different. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this down. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm... Ew. Got something in my throat there. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and tear this down, and then I'll meet you down there, because I need to give this thing some time to gather up some eggs so that I can put some chickens in the new chicken farm, because it would be a huge pain to um, move all these guys down manually um, with seeds or whatever, since I don't have an actual path, although I guess I could open that up, but no, I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tear that down, and I'll be right back. And we're done. So here's the thing. This is all the sugarcane that I have from that farm. I don't really need a sugarcane farm. So, well, I still need a sugarcane farm. I'm going to eventually have a need for a ton of books for that. <laughs> um, but basically, I'm going to build myself a different design, a smaller one rather, um, which uh, won't output quite as much sugarcane because I won't be using as much as a base because I'm going to use um, right here is where I'm going to put it. I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sugarcane blocks where the other one had, you know, more. So more would be growing up in that other one. But since I don't need it to be so efficient, I'm going to make a slightly smaller one. Over here is where I plan to put the chicken farm. I might have to move it over a block or something. But anyway, I have all these supplies in my inventory and some extra stuff in this chest. And, uh, this is actually a sugarcane design that I came up with, and I actually also did a tutorial on this, so if you want to see that, I'll put a link in the description. But I'm going to try to build this from memory real quick. It's super simple. Um, so there we go. That's the water done. Go ahead and throw those in there. Now I need sugarcane. Why don't I have any sugarcane? Be right back. Okay, I've got my sugarcane, so that's going to go there, 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 and there. There we go. So next thing, we need to get some pistons going here, so let's see, I'm going to have to dig up a little, so I need some more extra room, just like so, okay, get that last row too, because I'm probably going to need that, pretty sure I am, alright, so there we go, now the pistons are going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right, 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 nope, I put those a block too high, my bad, my bad. 
That's right. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let me take these out. Come on. All right. Get these guys out of here. All right, now like this and this, 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 and this. Okay. Um, get out my silk touch so I can get out of here. <laughs> All right, so these will start growing as they are, but first things first, we need to uh, get back there because time to do the red stone. So this thing works on a block update detector. I'm going to need to... Ooh, Oh, <laughs> there's my uh, storage room. Hmm. We're cutting it kind of close here. Luckily, we don't need all this space. Um, okay. So, next we need to... How does this go? Let's start by putting some blocks back here. In fact, I want to build it out of diorite because it looks a little bit nicer. It kind of works with the way the room looks. And then on top of that, I want redstone. Oop. All right, there we go. Now I think I need some more room over here. All right, next I want a furnace. Now, I'm trying to remember, does this go here or there? I think it goes right there. And then a comparator coming off of that. Oop. Yay, okay. And in here I'm going to want 14 items, so I'll chuck that in there. There we go. And nextly, we want this piston right here. And with a... Oop, my gravel. I need a piece of gravel. Left it in here. There it is. All right. And that's... Uh, <laughs> let me up. Let me up. That goes right there. Okay. And nextly, we need some blocks here and here and here. Um, redstone, redstone, and a repeater right there, and I believe that might do it. Maybe not. I think I got this wrong. Hold on. All right, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know I said I was going to do this from memory, but I messed up. So I want this here, and no, not here. Not here, because I want the other piston... Where's my other piston? There it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Alright, the other piston needs to be here. Now I need... need gravel on top of that. And then I need the comparator. Move, move. Right here. And the furnace right there. Alright, and then one, two, three, four. So there we go, that's it. Okay, now I need to get some blocks here to get some redstone on it. Right, there we go. Now this needs to be moved back a block. Repeater right there. Uh, that's not right. All right, there we go, it's all done. Well, it's not quite done yet. I still have to put in a uh, minecart system to collect the drops. But basically, if you want to see how this thing is built, just check the tutorial. Because uh, apparently I'm not very good at building on camera. But anyway, uh, we're going to go under here now. And put in the minecart storage system. So i got to dig out here a little bit. Um, of course, there's gravel in the way. Alright, there we go. Now, i got to get under here just like this and perfect so I want a powered rail there and there actually I don't want that there yet I always forget to do this part <laughs> um, I need to put in the hopper first boom okay so hopper there then the powered rail whoops go on top replace that and regular rails going through here then I want this to be powered, so let me grab a redstone block. Of course, I don't have one. I'll go make one real quick. And, and there we go, redstone block. All right, so then I can take this out, place that in there, and there we go. So I want that to be powered. Now, this here needs to be powered by a different mechanism. 
which will go like this. Comparator there. Um, I don't need to have die right here. Like that, like that. Let me grab that. Um, and then like that and that. And then redstone on top of there. So there we go. That's powered. So now whenever anything goes into that hopper, it will turn off and then it needs to drain into a chest. Um, I have a chest here. There we go. And it'll drain into there. Alright, cool. So now if I place this here, it'll go back and forth and if it picks anything up along the way, then goes there, it'll stop right there, unload all of the items it has in it, and then go back on its way. So that's how it um, collects the drops there because a hopper minecart can actually um, collect items that are above uh, two blocks above it. So it's here, and then normally a hopper would only be able to collect from above it, but since it's a minecart hopper, they actually work a little differently. So the pistons, whenever one of these grows, um, will push down because of the block update, and the item will fall down here, and then the hopper minecart will pick it up and put it into this chest. So there we go, that's the... Uh, Sugarcane farm done, I'm going to want to put the storage somewhere else, but for now I'm going to uh, close this up and have some kind of access to this, but I'm going to close it up and then we're going to build this chicken farm. Alright guys, this sugarcane farm is complete, super simple to build, I was able to hide pretty much everything. Uh, down here we have the storage, which I moved over all of the old sugarcane, and uh, I was going to do the chicken farm here this episode. Um, but I've seriously run out of time. Like, I've, if I'm not editing in the next few minutes, I'm going to be late <laughs> uh, getting this video uploaded. So I hope you guys can uh, accept a slightly shorter episode this time. But thank you guys ever so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like if you enjoyed what I did this episode. And don't forget to subscribe before you go. But until next time, goodbye everyone. It's nighttime. Juggle, juggle, juggle. <laughs>